The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time. Today's Great Norfolk Pub Guide comes from right in the heart of the city centre. Literally a stone's throw from the Theatre Royal is the Coach and Horses. And you can see by there's some plaques on the wall. It's a very, very old place. Yet, it is moving with the times, with its own unique real ale and world cuisine tapas. Well, that's brought me through to the snug to start with. I love my history. And um, first of all, we start with this, well, it's a wallpaper, I guess. But this was a bombing map of yes. Norwich. Yes, yeah, so the marks show where every bomb went off in Norwich during the war. So you can see you know, certain lines where obviously the planes came along and just dropped over and over again. You get a lot of people coming in who come and properly analyse the map and what, look at every see single mark, and see where. Go, Bethel Street is? Just up here. So we, we got missed, ah. fortunately because otherwise this may not be the second slash third busy <laughs> of this pub in Norwich. Being a stone's throw away from the Norwich Theatre Royal, the Coach and Horses is the local watering hole for the stars. I'd say the biggest ones that we've had so far were from the Full Monty. Oh. Um, they were a great crowd. Um, just, yeah, really good fun, Did they really down to earth. They didn't strip, fortunately. Oh. I'm not sure how that would have gone down. Tell us a little bit about the food you do, because you're doing something slightly different to, to a lot of places. Yes, so we do um, well tapas. So um, obviously like, like tapas is Spanish, all the little chera dishes, but anything from all over the world. So we do anything from Middle Eastern things like shredded lamb leg with hummus, through to Chinese duck spring rolls, tempura prawns, deep fried brie wedges. With it being a theatre pub, people come here quite often for pre and post theatre dining. So we were looking at it and thinking, you don't want to be going off to the theatre after having a massive meal, feeling a bit weighed down, and then go and sit in a dark room for two and a half hours. So we thought tapas, grazing food, it's very in at the moment anyway, but it kind of works well alongside that. And this is a bit of a dining area where people can even come eat their tapas. Yeah. And then, of course, we go into the bar area, which in most pubs is the most important part. Just tell us what kind of beers and, and, and ales you have on here. So All local ales and things, are they? Quite a lot. We are, we're part tied to Green King. So we have a selection of Green King ales and then a selection of free of Thai ales as well. So we are constantly changing our local suppliers. Anyone from, from Lakens, Humpty Dumpty, Woodfords, Adnams. The hidden secret of the pub is the courtyard garden area, which has just been opened. Unfortunately, it's not summer. No, not summer today, but as people can see, that's a huge area. I mean, so this was, this is still owned by the pub, this, yes. this area is, so yeah, what was it used before then? It, well, it, has, no use. it has right of access from the buildings around as well, so their, their fire exits all lead onto here. Um, so we do quite, quite often get people leaving work straight into the fire, through the fire exit into the pub, getting <laughs> their drinks. Right, Ant, it's time for your six of the best. You've got the time it takes me to pour this pint to answer the six questions about your pub. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Right, let's start. Okay, when is the best time to visit your pub? Uh, pre or post theatre. What's the best memory you have of your pub? Four guys in drag dancing behind the bar after the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Good memory. What is the best pint you serve? Um, all the pints are really good. What is the best dish you serve on your menu? Uh, shredded lamb leg. Uh, what is the best hangover cure known to man? for English breakfast. And what is the best pub to visit apart from yours in Norfolk? We are the best pub, why would you go somewhere else? Oh, he's done it in time. Would you drink that? It's not the best Be honest. ever, but I'd, I'd like the extra bit that I've paid for as well. Okay, I'll take that as a note. <laughs> coming here for, oh heavens, since about the 1970s, from the days when there were gas lights over there. Uh, it's a genuine local pub. Yeah. Uh, it served decent food, it served good beer. Well, normally on a Norfolk pub guide, I'd neck my pint and disappear, but I've heard there might be a few more famous faces coming in here from the theatre later on. I thought, stick around, beautiful snug, pint to hand, cheers. Catch up with the sport. Pinto injury blow for City Chief. Deary me.
The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time.